Hi, welcome in. 59. Why does God let viruses take over? Viruses and other diseases that spread affect the lives of rich and poor, young and old, great and small. Sickness even comes to those who believe in God. When God created the world, he formed all of nature beautifully. Everything was completed perfect. Genesis 1 verse 31. There was no sickness and no death until man sinned. Man's disobedience brought the curse of sickness, pain, and death into the world. Romans 5 verse 12. We now live in a broken world and face the challenges of our spoiled nature where weeds and viruses keep on spreading. Genesis 3 verses 17 to 18. And because we too have sinned, we struggle through life with weakened bodies. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16. In recent years, a number of diseases have spread around the world through people's irresponsible actions. Some sicknesses are caused by eating unhealthy food, polluting nature, and doing things that are wrong. But God doesn't want the world to be full of sick people. How do we know this? Jesus healed those who had leprosy and other illnesses. Luke 4 verse 40. God still heals and protects people today. We need not be afraid because whatever happens to us, God holds us in his mighty hand. He will never let go of us. So do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Psalm 91 verse six, there is another way. God keeps us well. He has helped people discover cures and make vaccines. Today, there are medicines for all kinds of illnesses and vaccines for most viruses, which means that we can live pretty healthy lives. With bad news comes good news. Where diseases have spread right across the world, people have come together to help each other. Many have slowed down from their busy lives and had a chance to spend time on things that really matter. It has helped people focus less on themselves and care more for others. Quiz 59, when Jesus healed 10 lepers, how many came back to thank him? Luke 17 verses 15 to 18. And there are your choices.